Well, now to our series, You and AI. For people in the entertainment business, AI can streamline the production process and really create mind-blowing content. But jobs are at stake, ethical issues are plentiful, and it's a major sticking point in the current SAG-AFTRA and writers' union strikes. NBC 5's Leanne Trotter reports. There we go. Brian Bullock runs a visual effects and design studio. This is the model that it will use to uh, swap uh, faces. He's demonstrating how easy it is to manipulate someone's likeness. You can literally create whatever you want. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And there you are. We're just dealing with images right now, yep. but you can do video, yep. voices, yep. whatever. Whatever. Text, writing, simulations. AI will significantly impact the entertainment business by replicating human voices, generating virtual characters or avatars, manipulating or recreating human performances, and generating scripts, screenplays, and more. So should we be worried? Should yes. people in the entertainment business be worried? Absolutely should be worried. In mid-July, the Actors Union SAG-AFTRA went on strike against the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. In May, the Writers Guild of America started striking over various labor disputes. One of the main issues in both strikes, the role of artificial intelligence. What we're fighting for here with WGA and sag after, it, we're fighting for everybody because it, it's going to affect all of us. And right now, there are a lot of unknowns. It frightens me because I think it's just the rise of the machines. You know? <laughs> just, it's, like, it's like one of these dystopian novels and it's all happening. And that's what's scary when they can take me and perhaps pay me for the day, which is great, but maybe use my likeness in perpetuity. It's just not fair because that's that's somebody's, you own that, I think. And so they're trying to take that from us. Ever since the beginning of technology, automation has made people worry about losing their jobs. Historically, blue collar and factory laborers. Now, generative AI threatens white collar labor and the current labor strikes are just the beginning of the conversation. Who gets compensated for the work that these technologies are doing. If they're entirely based on a platform of previous creative work that is copyrightable and created by human beings, those human beings should be compensated for the work that the technology does. Right now, there are more questions than answers. I don't think that AI has to be um, a dark concern. You know, I think if it's possible for us to find a way to work together um, and, and enhance story, um, then it could be a beautiful thing. Uh, we just have to believe that that's the intention of, of, of AI. I would embrace it wholeheartedly because I don't believe that the technology is going to go away. In fact, it's going to get better, faster uh, than most individuals realize. Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News.